The Exposomics Institute is where we're looking at how to develop biomarkers of exposure using chemical analysis of teeth. My research focuses on trying to develop markers of infant diet, particularly markers of, of breast milk and in modern day settings, markers of infant formula. We looked at teeth from two uh, individuals from uh, an extinct species known as Australopithecus africanus. They lived about two to three million years ago in South Africa, and it had both uh, human and ape-like features. So it, it walked on two feet, but it was also adapted for climbing. And from studying their teeth, we learned that they breastfed up to about at one year. Uh, and then after that year, they experienced about six monthly cycles of, of food scarcity, which could have led them to um, go back to breastfeeding a little bit more, or it could have led to other dietary sources. What's so great about teeth is that they, they last in, as fossils and they're often uh, unmodified when we find them so that we can actually go back in time to say two, three million years ago and find out what their breastfeeding practice was. Our results show that the species is a little bit closer to humans than the other great apes and that's why it's so important to study them. Seeing how breastfeeding has evolved over time can help us kind of learn what are the kind of best practices for, for modern humans and help us know a little bit about how practices have evolved and, and maybe about the composition of the breast milk so we can better kind of decide what's best practice today.